Hi, do you have an interactive whiteboard and are confused by all the different software options available? In this video I'll try and explain what software is out there, which ones are free and which ones you need a license key for. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Danny and welcome to another Tech Fix video. At the start of another school year, we've got teachers starting new schools. I work with a lot of student teachers who are starting on their teacher training courses. So I get a lot of questions about interactive whiteboard software and the various options that are available to them. This is made even more confusing by um, different software licenses. Student teachers especially don't always get access to the license keys of schools that let them have them. So they're looking for maybe free options or alternatives to what the rest of the school are using. All the links from this video are going to go into the accompanying blog post and also I'll put them in the YouTube notes area below. So first of all smart boards. If you are a smart board school then the obvious option to you is smart notebook. Currently we're running on smart notebook version 20. I'll put the download link below. There's a couple of different options when you're looking at smart boards. Um, that depends whether your school have a license for it um, which is basically smart learning suite um, which they may have bought um, or it may have come bundled with an install. You may get several years of Smart Learning Suite bundled in. If they've got a license key, then you download Smart uh, Notebook, you in, uh, put in the license key when it runs, that'll activate and you'll get all of the Smart Learning Suite software which runs alongside uh, Smart Notebook. If you don't have a license, um, a lot of schools have stopped subscribing um, to save money, a lot of schools are running sort of older versions of Smart Notebook and then you want to install a new version, the license key doesn't work anymore you can download the free version of version 20 it'll give you a 45 day trial of learning suite that's not a problem take the trial play with it at the end of the 45 days it'll stop working and you'll switch to what they call smart notebook basic you can if you want to just install smart notebook basic at the beginning if you want as well smart notebook basic is a cut down version um, it gives you most of the tools what you don't get is the smart learning suite tools but you'll get most of everything else you're going to want to need. The big thing it will do is run a watermark when a smart board's not connected. That's not a problem if you're working from home to prep or you're working on a laptop in the staff room to prep because the watermark won't get in the way as such, it just watermarks the, the, the screen as you're using it. And as soon as you plug the board in to your laptop or your computer, the watermark will go. So when you present it to a class, that's fine. It's a smart way of kind of stopping people from buying a different brand of board, a cheap uh, board and then trying to get the smart notebook software on the cheap but as long as you're a smart board user then it should should work fine the other option as well if you are a smart uh, learning suite subscriber is you can get access to what they call smart learning suite online this is basically an online version of smart notebook it will give you um, again most of the tools you're going to want to play with you can get a 45 day trial if you want to check it out if you are a smart uh, learning suite license holder then you use your license key that'll get you in um, you need to log in with a microsoft or a google login so you might need to check with your school for that if you're a Promethean user, then the best option you can get is Active Inspire. It used to be there was Active Studio and there was Active Primary. They've all gone now, been gone for a few years now. What you do is download Active Inspire and then within Active Inspire you can choose whether you want it to look like Primary or Secondary. When you download Active Inspire, it'll come down again as a 60 day trial and you need a license key to activate it. Again, look in your schools, ask the ICT coordinator or the ICT team to see if they've got a license key. It used to be on a big sticker stuck on the boards. Um, you could write it down. Um, I'm not sure if they still do that on the screens, probably not. But um, you'll need the key. If it doesn't work, you can't get the key, you've got 60 days. At the end of the 60 days, it runs as personal edition, which basically gives you some tools, not a lot. It's really for opening ready-made Promethean files, uh, maybe a little bit of editing, but not doing a lot. You can't make a lot of resources in personal edition. It's more a kind of um, almost a, a flip chart viewer. As an alternative, um, there's a an online version called Classflow. Um, you log into Classflow com or classflow.co.uk depending on the country you're in and you can access that for free it'll give you whiteboard software if you are actually uh, running the full version of Active Inspire you can link Active Inspire to Classflow and use it like um, an interactive uh, voting system and so on there's lots of other things you can do but if you haven't got Active Inspire license you want to just run Classflow there's lots of things you can do in Classflow uh, free to use through your browser now both uh, Smart Learning Suite Online and Classflow, because they're on the browser, that means you can then um, use them on an iPad and other things as well. The, the other main option is ProWise. 
Uh, you've got a ProWise board, use ProWise software. They're currently running at ProWise Presenter 10. I've talked about it in previous videos. You can see those videos if you click on the link or go back through my playlist. But you don't need a license to use ProWise Presenter. It's completely free. Uh, just go to ProWise website, sign up for an account, and then you can access ProWise Presenter version 10. It's a pretty fully featured interactive whiteboard software. It's got a gallery, it's got interactive tools, it's got all the kind of things you're going to want to need. It will run on a browser, so therefore it can be an iPad or it can be on your computer. Files are saved in the cloud, so you can work at home um, and they'll follow you around the school. Also has a smart notebook converter, so if you've got smart notebook files, you can convert them. It doesn't always work, but it's, you know, if they're too complicated, but majority of times it'll work. Um, you can convert smart notebook into ProWise. So they're the main three. There are some other options as well. First of all, um, Google uh, have produced something called Jamboard. If you are a um, Google Suite user, um, or even if you have your own Google account and have Google Drive, you can access Jamboard. It's a basic version of a whiteboard. It lets you draw, lets you import pictures, lets you annotate on top. It doesn't have a lot of features that you might find elsewhere, but it's pretty useful if you want something just quick to throw up on the screen and scribble on. It also has very good collaboration features, as you'd expect from some that's part of Google Drive so you can create a Jamboard and then fire the link out to other people who can also collaborate on that Jamboard as well so it's quite possible to be drawing on the whiteboard at the front of the class and have other people adding things to that board as well should you want to if you want to collect information from from the students there is also Microsoft Whiteboard so Microsoft Whiteboard comes as part of Windows 10 you just get it in the, um, the Windows Store if you haven't already got it installed it's free there's an iOS app as well and it will let you import pictures annotate on top add text uh, other kinds of graphic and so on the other thing to think about is if you're a Microsoft Office user if you've got Office 365 Office 365 is a whole load of annotation tools now when Microsoft started getting into Microsoft Surface um, they're getting into the game a little bit late but obviously PowerPoint is a, is a tool that a lot of people are using already there are drawing tools in PowerPoint and you can either run the PowerPoint show as a normal show and use a pen on top but what I often do is just use PowerPoint in editing mode and then use the draw tools so if you go into um, Office 365 you look on the top tabs you will see uh, along the top it should say draw um, you need the most recent version of 365 for this to work but there's lots of tools there there's ink to, ink to text, ink to maths um, ink to shape and so on so do check it out uh, it'll work inside PowerPoint, it'll work inside Excel it'll work inside uh, Word any annotations are saved into the documents you can call them back later on so it's quite a useful thing to do and I know a lot of people are starting to use OneNote as well which comes bundled with Office uh, OneNote as an interactive whiteboard bit of software because you can annotate, draw, insert images, insert web links share it with others, save it, call it back next time that's whiteboard software as well so if you're looking for things to work on your boards okay smart promethean and um, ProWise are what you might call proper whiteboard software jamboard and microsoft whiteboard are pretty much there as well but if you're looking for maybe more in secondary or for lecture styles where you want to just annotate on top of other things powerpoint with the draw feature is pretty good um, and also just editing on top of Word as well. So there's your basic options. There's lots of others out there as well, but I don't really want to go into those. There's bits of software which maybe you could use. There's a link in my blog post to a few of these and to older blog posts I've done which have um, more information about these. If you have got any questions, please get in touch. I'll put my, my Twitter handle at the end. You can get me through the blog or leave a comment below and I'll try and answer it as best I can. I hope you found that useful. Please do check back future for more videos on interactive whiteboards uh, and other things. Uh, if you like this, please subscribe and I'll make some more videos and hopefully see you all again soon. Thank you very much for listening.